Hey guys, today's video is a tutorial on this look right here. It's a gold cut crease with a dark lip and this glowy skin. I had a lot of fun creating this look and hope you guys try it at home. And if you do, send me pictures, tag me in it. My Instagram and my Snapchat will be in the Dropbox below. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, add me on Snapchat and all that jazz. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So first off, I'm going to be priming with the Maybelline Master Prime. You guys know the deal. And I'm just going to be priming the whole face with that, you know? You know. So I'm going to be complicated today and I'm going to use some of the Benefit Professional just a little bit in the t-zone here so my pores are getting a little out there you know and i'm just gonna massage that in the t-zone real quick so for brows i'm gonna be using the l'oreal brow stylus shape and fill triangular mechanical pencil i don't know and i'm just gonna do my brows really quick off of camera so so to start off with the eyes, I'm going to prime with the Tarte Shape Tape, put that on the eyelids, and now blend it out with my damp Real Techniques Complexion Sponge, or whatever the fuck it's called. Now oh, I'm just going to set it with just some regular translucent powder, you yeah, know. Okay, so I actually changed my mind, and I'm going to do my face first. Those guys why not? I'm going to take the L'Oreal True Match Lumi, whatever the fuck foundation. And for the places I want a little bit more coverage, I'm gonna take the Makeup Forever HD stick and I'm just gonna put that everywhere because this is like a medium coverage. I'm going for full coverage, boo! Blend that out. Shape tape. I'm gonna be taking the Revolution Luxury Banana Powder and I'm just gonna be taking it on a little um, Real Techniques like setting brush and just tapping that under the eye to set everything in place. Okay, so I'm actually gonna be taking some of that banana powder on a Morphe E1 and just setting the whole entire face with that. Pound that powder. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm gonna bronze with the Tarte Ladies Night Clay Palette and a It Cosmetics brush and I'm just gonna kinda warm up the cheekbones cause my face is looking kinda bland right now, you know? So I'm just gonna give some color back. So now I'm gonna be taking Bahama Mama by The Bomb and a Morphe M510 and I'm gonna contour the cheeks a little bit. Little sum. Oh, that's, that's, just a, that's a lot of sum sum. I'm gonna blend that out with a powder brush. Okay. I'm gonna hit the little forehead and the temple as well. Just, you know, balance everything out. And then I'm gonna take a little angled whatever brush thing. I'm gonna go under my lip and I'm just gonna contour the nose a little bit as well. So I'm gonna go back in with that um, setting powder and I'm gonna carve up the cheeks and we're gonna begin to bake. If you're not baking, you're not living. Carve out the nose contour as well. And I'm gonna carry that out to the under eye, like so. Kinda bake the eye, under eye as well, you know. Cause I'm living like that. It says that the natural heat from your body will actually cook the powder over base foundation or concealer, giving you a flawless finish. So yes, it is qualified as baking. And yeah, we're going a little, going a little heavy handed today. Cause you know, why not? Okay, so for this look, I'm gonna be using the Jaclyn Hill palette. 
And to start off the look, I'm just going to be using a Morphe Big Fat Blending Brush. And I'm going to be taking this shade in the middle of the first row and putting that in the crease. So now I'm going to be taking a kind of angled blending brush, whatever you want to call that. And these two colors in the middle, I'm taking this pukey brown right here and this brown right here. And I'm going to mix them together, put that right in the crease. Don't make that face. Okay, going in with the same brush, I'm going to be taking this shade in the palette right here and I'm going to be placing that in the lower part of the crease. Like so I'm just going to take that brush and blend the edges like this. So now I'm going to take an even smaller, it is angled, no it's tapered, I don't know, here and I'm going to put that right and just darken that up one last time like that and then I'm gonna go back to the first brush blend blend the line out like so so now I'm just gonna take some shape tape on the back of my hand and a little concealer brush and cut the crease So now I'm just going to take some translucent powder on a blending brush and I'm just going to set that concealer. Hit it. Look at that crease, girl! I'm going to take a little, little bitty, I don't even know what, and I dropped it. Wow. I'm going to take this color to give it a little bit more definition. Why am I talking so country? I don't know. Blend out. So now I'm going to dip into the Morphe 3502 palette and I'm going to be taking this gold shade right up here. Spray a little bit of fix plus on that right now. Eyeshadow like packer brush, whatever. But I'm just going to take that wet gold shadow. Okay, so now I'm going to take my wet and wild mega liner and I'm going to do my eyeliner off camera and I'll be right back. So now I'm going to take that same brush and I'm going to wipe off the bake. So I'm going to take that eye pencil and I'm going to tight line. Oh my God. Oh. And I'm going to quickly run through my lashes with a nice camera. So I'm gonna be going back in with the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm gonna be taking these two shades here with this little whichever you wanna call it brush. My mind is everywhere today, so yeah. And putting them on the lower lash line, making sure to bring them all the way in and bring them all the way out. So I'm gonna take this shade here with a flat definer brush and I'm just gonna pack that really tightly in the lower lash line like this and blend it together. So now I'm gonna take this shade up here with a little bitty brush and I'm going to highlight the inner corner with that as well as the brow bone. So now I'm gonna take the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara and I'm gonna give my bottom lashes a generous coat. I'm gonna be taking the Tarte Amazonian clay party blush and I'm gonna be applying that generously to the cheeks. I love blush I'm gonna take some fix plus spray my brush and take the highlight shade dip it straight in there Ooh. Do, you, do you even do you even highlight bro oh my god let me stop okay so now i'm gonna highlight the cupid's bow a little bit of the chin 
little bit on the forehead, this little thing right here, because I love doing that. Tip of my nose, like that. Yiggy. Okay. So I decided to go for a dark lip today because why not? You know, I haven't done a dark lip in forever. So. Oh, and by the way, I'm using the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit in the shade Video Vixen. Hey you guys, so this is the finished look right here. I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, leave a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know next time I post a video. If you want me to do any looks, make sure to send them to me. Both my Instagrams and my Snapchat will be in the Dropbox, so make sure you check those out. I hope you guys have a great day or a great night, you know, while I'm sipping on this protein shake. Just booling. know what the deal. Luca Brasi. I don't know what I'm doing. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm gonna be taking the tart um now I'm gonna be taking wait blah. Mom What? Shh Let me get my shit together. I'm moving them on. I'm on. Oh.